All right, guys, my name is Aaron Morgan. Anybody who doesn't know me, I am a full-time content creator, photography, uh, videography. Um, I'm a brand ambassador for Bow Addicts, and today I wanna to talk about five things that you can think about when it comes time for you to film your hunt. So five things to keep in mind when you're trying to film a hunt that you're gonna put online or for your family or friends. Uh, number one, be sure you tell a story. It's not just about the kill. Like don't focus 100% on getting your kill on video and that's the key of, of the video. Obviously that's an important part of filming, but uh, make sure that you keep in mind that there's a whole story that you need to tell. You wanna get people to enjoy the experience of the hunt. A lot of times the, the hunting industry gets flack and gets criticized because of the kill because what we're doing is we're you know we're taking a life and that really is an important thing but if we can get a little bit of focus if we can shift that from the kill more to the experience of the hunt and why we love to hunt i don't know very many people who hunt strictly because they love killing things a lot of it is more they love sitting in a tree stand sitting in nature you know things like that so if we can get the focus to be on that then I think that it will help the hunting industry as a whole. So how do you tell a story? You know, with, with, with any story, you have a beginning, uh, a build up, uh, then a, a climax to the story, and then you have a fall off to the end. So what I like to do whenever I'm trying to, uh, you know, tell and, and begin a story, I want to set a an establishing shot or an establishing scene to help people understand what's happening. Uh, a lot of times people, you know, you could start with an alarm going off if it's a morning hunt, if it's an evening hunt, you could start with, you know, grabbing lunch on a, on a drive through on the way to the stand. Um, and then, you know, kind of work from there. And the build up would be, you know, getting dressed at the truck, walking into the stand, checking your uh, shooting lanes, stuff like that could be the build up. Obviously, hopefully, we all, when we're hunting, we hope that the climax of the, of the whole story is that a big buck walks out or a doe walks out and we get to take the shot. It's a good shot and then the fall off is the recovery um, and, you know, holding the deer, doing your hero stuff and that's kind of the fall off of the shot. And that's, that's you know, just an outline of how you can build it and you can do so many things. There's so many ways that you can begin a story. There's so many ways that you can show the build up. Um, hopefully there's only, hopefully we all have that good clean, that good clean kill. It's a good shot and we don't have to show a, you know, emotional roller coaster ride of a bad shot on an animal. But, uh, and then as a fall off, you know, we recover the deer. That's, that's a pretty good, you know, outline or structure to it, to a story that you can build on and to think about when you're filming a shot. Number two, don't let the story drag. Uh, so don't, there There are parts of stories that aren't important. You probably shouldn't spend 10 minutes talking about pulling up to, you know, Wendy's and, and grabbing a burger. Like that's not really an, an integral part of the video. So you probably shouldn't, shouldn't, you know, focus a lot of attention on that. You can show it, you could even, you could do two clips. I, I heard of a guy who had a challenge where you know, every time he went to a drive through he tried to make a 15 second clip out of it. So if he went to a restaurant, he would try to tell a story different ways in 15 seconds to where people would be interested in him going through a drive through Stuff like that, that you can work on to help with telling a story, but not focusing and not extending a story out. Um, that's good practice that you can do. That way, when it comes time for you to film a hunt, you're not letting the dull parts of the story be the longer parts. Number three, a variety. I talked earlier about an establishing shot. A lot of times when you start a shot or when you start a film or start a sequence of events, you're gonna have an establishing shot. If you go into a new area, let's say you're, you know, you just pulled up to your farm, a lot of times you'll see drone shots or you'll see that, that slow push, the really wide angle showing the area. That's an establishing shot. So you wanna have some wide shots, but you don't wanna have everything be a wide shot. Um, that just gets boring after a while. A lot of times you see People who are filming their hunts, they have their selfie stick with their GoPro or, or whatever they're using, their cell phone or you know whatever camera they're using, and they have that first or that, that, that vlogging angle the whole time. And it doesn't really do much to tell a story. Um, I think that you know we really need to key in on, on different variety, show variety, keep people in, involved and keep people um, you know interested in, in the video with that variety of shot. All right, guys, number four, share or show the emotion 
that you're going through during the hunt. A lot of times there's a lot of highs and lows in hunts and, and that's a good part of hunting. That's part of that experience is, you know, you have the lows of, you know, you're, it's dark and you're trying to pull up your bow and it gets caught on a limb. Like that's frustrating. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with showing that. Um, and then that can turn into a high really quick where uh, you see a couple bucks sparring or you know, you see a doe and a fawn running and it's just peaceful or, you know, hopefully, like I said earlier, hopefully you, uh, you know, shoot that dream buck that you're even going after them, but one on your hit list and you can share that experience and you can share the emotion of that. Um, you know, show that. Don't be afraid to show emotion. We're not robots. Um, you should have emotion when you kill an animal. Like there should be an emotion. You shouldn't be really dry. I'm like, oh yeah, cool. And that be it. Like there is an emotion to it. Um, a lot of people react differently, and that's another part of this, is be genuine to who you are. Um, <laughs> you know, not everybody is a Michael Waddell or, or anything where they're going crazy. You know, when I shoot, I'm usually pretty quiet, but I'm happy and smiling, and you know, it's a good time, um, but I'm not overboard, right? And some people are way more <laughs> outgoing and eccentric than I am, but that's, you know, that to myself, to stay true to me, I'm not gonna be like that because that's not how I, that's not me as a person. So. Stay true to who you are, but don't be afraid to show emotion. Lastly, guys, have fun. Um, it's not necessarily a job. You don't have to make it a job. You should have fun telling a story, even if it is your job. Have fun telling the story because uh, if you're like me and this is your job, then that's a blessing. You know, a lot of people wish that they could do this for a living. And if it's not, and it's just something that you're doing for fun, keep it that way. Don't make it worse than what it is. I used to, before I, back when I first started doing this, I was stressed so much over you know, I, I have to get this on film. I have to get that on film. I, it, it just, it lost its its fun. Um, I got to where I didn't really enjoy hunting for a while because uh, it was just work, you know, it was miserable. I, I was so focused on everything being perfect all the time that one, it wasn't perfect all the time. And two, it took all the enjoyment out of getting that getting that experience. I, I lost the experience of hunting for, for a couple of years. And, you know, there was, it wasn't until I honestly put the camera down for a half of the season that I started enjoying it again. And I was able to come back and bring that story out. So be sure you have fun. Don't, don't go crazy. Don't, don't get so uptight. Uh, I know a lot of that's personality. I have the personality where I take things too seriously. And, and I'm, there's some people who do, I'm sure, you know, there's a lot of people who do that. And so make sure that you don't allow it to become more uh, more of a hindrance to being in the experience than than not. So those are my five tips, guys. Take care. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys. If you have any more questions, hit me up at Aaron.m.morgan on Instagram. Thanks.